Hello my fellow Archons and welcome to another video. Um, today I wanted to share with you guys this uh, battle tested Keyforge Grim Reminders deck that I acquired at a store championship that I got to attend um, at my local game store. Um, it was a lot of fun. I ended up taking second place in the Archon event, um, which is how I ended up winning this battle tested Grim Reminders deck here. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys um, an analysis of this deck. Let's get into it. So first off, this is what the border looks like for battle-tested Grim Reminders decks. Um, they've got this cool like little kind of light uh, flash going on around the sides here. Then of course it's on the uh, front of all the cards as well. And then of course there's the keyword card. And then each of the decks also comes with these two like kind of like promo cards. Not promo cards, um, but they just kind of like go over this one has an add on the back, which is kind of funny. Dream Trace game tokens, and then it kind of goes over what a, a battle tested deck is. Another add. All right, so then here's what the um, exclusive visual treatment looks like on the cards themselves. Uh, starting off with the Unfathomable, we have a Trawler, Tendrils from Beyond, Echoing Death Knell, Echo Guardian, Circle Speak, Beam of Forgetting, Stir Crazy with a Capture, Kiri Guilt Spine, Dredge, Unsettling Ancestry. Sybil Waymare and Plunder. And then he <coughs> heading into the Star Alliance, we have Unprepared, Triangulator Newsome with a Draw, Rogue Operation times two, Quartermaster Body, Modular Exoskeleton with a Discard, Into the Warp, Chief Engineer Walls, Near Future Lens times two, which is by far the most exciting part of the deck, in my opinion, the double Near Future Lens, LCDR Trigon. And then a Missile Officer Myers, a very fun and unique uh, Star Alliance card here. And then in the Mars we have UFO, Terrible Teammates, Target Inixital, Double, Shrink Ray Technician, Glixel Proliferator, Distant Void Prober, Brash Grabber, Psychic Network, Felix the Disintegrator, Destructive Analysis with a Discard, and Big Magnet. The, the most exciting part of this deck when I first opened it was just the fact that it had the double Near Future Lens. I mean, just getting, just having the ability to potentially play two extra cards each and every turn is so amazing, no, no matter what house they belong to. Um, obviously, you play with the top card of your deck revealed, so your opponent always knows what's going into your hand and they can see the top card of your deck and everything. Um, but it goes really well um, with cards like the Rogue Operation, so you can see what you might be discarding with Rogue Operation, um, at least the, the, the first card that you discard. Um, and then one combo that I found that was really cool was Dredge with the Near Future Lens. Uh, Dredge says, play for the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains, after reap, return a card from your discard pile to the top of your deck. Um, so es essentially the way that works is you would reap with a creature and then return a card from your discard pile to, to the top of your deck where near, near Future Lens can see it. And then it can actually be played with a New Future Lens. So with Dredge, you can actually play cards from your discard pile um, with the Near Future Lens. It's a, in a kind of convoluted way. It's, it's kind of neat. Um, I haven't really gotten to pull it off like super effectively yet, but I think it's a pretty neat combo. So in terms of creatures, uh, the deck has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen creatures. Ember pips, we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Ember Pips. So not bad, not that bad of a ratio. Um, so this deck is pretty solid in the board in the uh, Ember Control department because um, in terms of Ember Control, we have the Felix, the Psychic Network, uh, the Distant Void Prober. We also have the um, let's see here, the Quartermaster Body, the Double Rogue Operation, uh, Triangulator Newsome potentially. Um, especially in terms of the uh, trawler. There's another, some more Ember Control, more Ember Control Circle Speak, and then Trawler, Triangulator Newsome. If you can reap and move all that Ember into your pool, that would be super ideal, very cool combo. It's the board control where this deck tends to fall short. Because um, all we have for board control is we have the Destructive Analysis, and then the Shrink Ray Technician kind of can help with that a little bit. Um, into the Warp, Unprepared, and then Civil Waymare and Unsettling Ancestry, kind of. I mean, they can potentially exhaust some things, but I mean, beyond that, there's Echoing Death Nail Tundra from Beyond, so it's kind of lacking in the board control department. 
Um, but this deck really just wants to race and then control Ember as much as possible. Um, with double near future lens, you can race pretty well, um, getting to play a couple extra cards every single turn. Disruption wise, there's the Plunder, which is awesome. Like, I really love Plunder, it's a really fantastic card. Sibyl Waymare, and then the Curry Guilt Spine is cool. Beam of Forgetting. So, there is some good hand disruption in here. So, honestly, it's a very board based deck, like, especially in the Mars. If you take a look, like, Psychic Network wants you to have ready Mars creatures, um, as does Felix the Disintegrator. They don't have to be ready, but they do. He does want extra Mars creatures on the board. And it has those creatures, but I mean, if they don't survive, then those couple cards aren't really doing a whole lot. One thing that this deck would have really benefited from was something like an Iron X Rebel, maybe a couple Iron X Rebels, and then the Unfathomable, if the Unfathomable had a catch and release, then that would have been huge as well. I think those two cards would have really elevated this deck. Because as it is right now, if this deck starts falling behind on board, um, then it can really start struggling, especially if those are important creatures that this deck just can't handle. Um, things like maybe a Haunting Witch, or Odoak the Patrician, um, honestly, this deck doesn't do a whole lot of stealing, so Odoak actually wouldn't be that big of a problem for it. Actually, there are the two rogue operations, so Odoak could pose a bit of a problem, but I mean, those are just a couple examples of uh, problem creatures that this deck may have a hard time handling. Um, this is kind of cool. I like how Unsettling Ancestry archives itself. Um, it's kind of like, kind of reminds me of Portal in that way. Yeah, so here's the Archon card for you guys to take a look at. Um, overall, very fun deck. Like, every time I play with this deck, I have a great time with it, especially if the double NFLs come out early. Um, then this deck can really start popping off and doing some cool things. If you guys see any combos in here that I may have missed, please let me know. Um, this deck has all sorts of strange and wacky lines of play that are just a lot of fun. It's a very, very fun deck. I'm super glad to have been able to open a deck like this as one of the battle-tested uh, Grim Reminders decks, because the battle-tested decks are pretty rare, and you really have to fight for them. I mean, you have to get... The way, the way we did it is that the top three um, would get a, a Grim a, a Battle-Tested deck. We had two events where the top three would win one of these, so there were six total at the local game store. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this deck in the comments below. Um, I'll also throw up the Dex of Keyforge up on here. It came out to 91 SAS, which 91 SAS seems a little high to, the, to, uh, to me for this deck. As I've played it, um, it's lost to a lot of decks that are in that SAS range. Um, even to a lot of decks that are less than that, so 91 SAS does seem pretty bloated for this deck. Um, but either way, still a pretty, pretty neat rating for a rare battle-tested deck. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see you all again in the next one. See you later.